ramen so often whenever I don't know what to eat ramen is the answer I bet you can make an entire compilation of just me in this position, eating ramen. So these are Justin's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Mm. I'm gonna have three, so two more. I'm like scrolling through Pinterest to get some inspiration for when I move. Oat milk, iced matcha latte. With oat milk and two pumps of chai. Did you guys hear that? It's already 4.30 p.m. Ugh. Today was a weird, weird day. So for lunch, I'm just going to have an everything that's the wrong side. An everything bagel with cream cheese, which is what I usually have for breakfast. And I wanted to have this for breakfast, but because I was in such a rush, I was forced to have granola and cereal, which is like not complaining. I like completely forgot I was even wearing this stuff on my head and on my face, but whatever. <laughs> recording the entire time oh my god is it really a video by me if this doesn't happen at least once where I just forget to hit record I'm doing this for years you think I'd be better at it but no I think I got progressively worse I'm just having some noodles <laughs> having my udon noodle soup um, with broccoli I usually have bok choy but I don't have any bok choy I went to white foods today instead of White foods. Hello? <laughs> what? I went to Whole Foods today. Oh my god. I went to Whole Foods. I'm so sorry. I don't know what. Hello? Anyway, I usually get like most of my vegetables from the Asian market, but I went to Whole Foods today. So it's just broccoli, mushroom, shiitake mushrooms, and Sesame tofu. I got this from Whole Foods today as well. It's just sesame tofu. I thought I'd try it. I feel like it would be really good with like rice or in salads or something. Day. Let's hope today is better than yesterday. Yesterday was a freaking mess. Mm. It was like nothing really bad happened, but it was like one thing after another. Mm. Today will be better. We got a rocky start, 
I was woken up at 3 in the morning because someone was blasting their music for some reason at 3 a.m. Like blasting this like really bad rap music. And then I got sleep paralysis. Like I was woken up by that. I went to the bathroom. And then like when I was laying down, I could feel myself. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. But if you've had sleep paralysis, let me know if you guys have experienced this as well. But like you'll get sleep paralysis and then if you like shake yourself off out of sleep paralysis, the second you start to fall back asleep, you can fear, feel yourself like sinking back into sleep paralysis. And that's what happened. So rocky start to the day. But I hope as the day goes on, it'll be better. I have a cup of strawberries right here. Um. And I'm making a bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel. So I'm eating this and a cup of strawberries, mug of strawberries. The usual eating spot. <sighs> I cannot wait to move. I'm moving in a few months. Have I, have I mentioned that? I don't know if I mentioned it on my YouTube, but I've mentioned it on stream quite a few times. I'm going to be moving soon. I am so excited. I'm gonna do like a new apartment tour, like decorating, moving vlog. It's gonna be a good time. I don't really think there's a good way to like angle all this stuff. I'm making some spaghetti bolognese. Is this traditional? I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it. I just have like three servings of pasta here and some Gardein groundless beef. I would like to use like a Beyond Burger, but I don't have any. And then I added some tomato paste to this. And then I'm gonna be using this spicy marinara sauce and adding some Parmesan. This is Follow Your Heart Focus. There we go, Parmesan. <laughs> Very simple dinner tonight. Probably shouldn't be stirring this with like a rubber spatula, but whatever. I just got out of the shower and I was planning on making some like super fancy matcha pancakes for breakfast, but I forgot I have my COVID vaccine today, part one of two. So I'm just gonna have a typical breakfast. I have a cup full of strawberries. Ugh, I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> and I'm just gonna have a bagel, a PB&J bagel, uh, because I just wanna have something quick because I have to leave in like 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. I am making the easiest lunch ever. <laughs> After I got my vaccine, I came back. I took a fat nap. Oh my gosh. I'm still really tired. My arm is sore. <laughs> I, I, I literally just woke up. Um, it's like 3.40 in the afternoon. And I'm just making some... Annie is vegan mac and cheese. This is earth balance butter. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. It's the typical side effects I've heard regarding the vaccine. I just feel very drowsy. Mmm. Nutrition. Make it extra cheesy. I don't know how the rest of the world is doing with the vaccine, but we're doing pretty okay over here with like distributing it and stuff. I think where I am, it's like 16 plus. 
go with that. I'm probably gonna eat it all. I don't think I've ever not eaten it all in like one sitting. Eating like boxed mac and cheese always brings me back to my childhood. I like lived off of Kraft mac and cheese or like Easy Mac. Mm. Oh my goodness, y'all. It took a lot of effort to finally make some dinner. I'm so tired and I feel a little nauseous. I don't know if it's because of the vaccine or if I just feel nauseous on my own. Not my day. I've got a headache, I feel nauseous. My arm hurts, my arm is sore. <laughs> this isn't to discourage anyone from getting the vaccine, by the way. I've dealt with much worse. Honestly, this is probably just me being a lazy piece of shit. But for dinner, finally worked myself up. I pumped myself up to make some dinner. So I have some broccoli, kimchi, and mushrooms in this. And this is some, oh, I forgot what this is called. Like, garden something. I'll put it up on the screen. But basically, I'm gonna be making like an udon stir fry. This beef came with this sauce packet. I think it's like a garlic and pepper sauce. So I figured I could just use that as the sauce. Oh my god, three. Three in a row. I have whiplash. Ugh. Okay. Anyway. Oh my god, no, I can't handle another, please. And here's the finished meal. Mmm. So for breakfast, I made some cinnamon rolls. These are the Annie's cinnamon rolls. I think that's the brand. Ooh. I think I'm just gonna have three and then I have a fruit cup right here. It has pineapple, cantaloupe, honeydew, grapes, and strawberries. So here's my breakfast for the day. So um, my breakfast kind of filled me up. Like a lot. Uh, figuring I did eat it at like 1 p.m. So it was a bit of a later breakfast. So I didn't really have like a proper lunch. It's almost 7 p.m. now. So I decided to get some Chinese takeout. I got some seaweed soup. Some tofu seaweed soup. I'm gonna have lots of leftovers. I can already tell. So I got salt and pepper tofu. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. I like that. And then I got the Buddha Delight. Salt and pepper tofu. I can't tell if it's focusing. I really hope it is. That's what that is. It's got eggplant, baby corn, broccoli, snow peas, zucchini, carrots, noodles. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like I've cycled through the same like five shirts. I gotta get rid of clothes. If any of y'all want some clothes, I'll send you them. But I'm just having my two leftover cinnamon rolls for breakfast. And I'm also having this chocolate banana Koya drink. Mm. Not as good as the first day, which is to be expected, but still pretty good. Mm. Okay, just finished streaming and now I'm having some leftover, this bowl is really hot, leftover seaweed soup with tofu. I was going to have leftover salt and pepper tofu and the Buddha Delay vegetables, but I actually finished all of it last night. <laughs> I was a lot hungrier than I realized. I'm also having these fried seaweed rolls. I've showed you guys them before. There's like vegetables and uh, noodles on the inside. And then I'm having these hot and spicy vegetable dumplings.
It's cold. <laughs> the bowl is super hot, but the contents are cold. Mm. Back in the microwave. <laughs> If you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!